In the past month, since we've announced our Quick Strike Challenge, we've been receiving messages and emails from viewers and gamers around the world making videos, many of them making videos for the very first time. That's fantastic to hear, Tony. The more the merrier. One of the reasons we started the Quick Strike Challenge is because more war games on YouTube equates to more exposure for the hobby. That's true, but the other reason is that honestly, it's just fun to do. Our club has a blast filming our games and then watching them years later. It's provided evidence that Greg once had hair. Hey. So if you've never filmed or edited a war game video before, we're ready to help. We have a few tips in our introductory video from earlier in the month, but in that same video we teased a much longer tutorial. That class is now available on LittleBoarsTV.com, completely free. Just sign up, register, and complete at your own pace. And you will want to pace yourselves, folks, because this course is massive. It's well over an hour long, featuring tips and advice. They'll talk about cameras, microphones, editing, software options. They cover pre-planning, scripting, camera techniques, common pitfalls you want to avoid. You'll go inside the editing bay to see how a video is edited with Adobe Premiere and what to look for in your footage. We share our sources for copyright free music and sound effects. We even take you under the hood to study the YouTube analytics from our very first Quick Strike to understand key metrics and what that tells you about how to improve your videos. In just the last few weeks, we've already seen some early Quick Strike scenarios online. That's right. What's really exciting is they come from established channels and some new creators as well. Alex at Storm of Steel Wargaming has a solo AAR from the first Japanese landing at Malaya in December 1941. He uses the new O-Group rules for a battalion level engagement. For platoon level action in 28mm scale, check out Tabletop CP where Travis ran a chain of command game near Salerno in 1943. Wargaming World published a very creative quick strike based on a what if from the classic movie Zulu. And for everyone who has already emailed to ask, yes, what if scenarios are completely acceptable for the Quick Strike Challenge? As long as your game is rooted in some historical context, feel free to be creative like Wargaming World and speculate on what might have been. bonus points for showcasing a 6mm games with lovely miniatures. We are suckers for 6mm, it's true. It is. While we're mentioning Quick Strike, I suppose we should mention our Quick Strike videos as well. Little Wars TV released our first Quick Strike example on the 1805 battle where Marshal Ney earned his title Duke of Elkingen. Except our Marshal Ney had a little more trouble earning his title this time around. Ah. Yes, yes he did, Tom. To see how the battle played out and how you can film your own quick strike with only an iPhone, click here. And to take our full-length video course, visit littlewarstv.com, 100% free. Everything's better in a wizard hat. I I'm, I'm digging the wizard hat. We're gonna get comments. What's up with the wizard hat? <laughs> no explanation is needed. All right, yeah.